Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn how to find the element index in an array in JavaScript. Okay, so here I have two files, an HTML linking a JavaScript file that will do the code. So let's open the scripts file and here I need to create an array to find some element index. So we can create a constant okay uh, with five letters this will be better to explain how we can find the index so i will put a b c d e okay and now how can we find the index of c so we can use the method index of this will search for some element in the array and if we find it it will return the index of this element. So we can put index of C in a variable and use index of in the array. Okay. And here in the arguments, we can put the elements that we want to find the index. So like C. And now I will log the result of this variable, index of C. So let's open this file in the browser. I will open the this HTML here with live server. And we will see in the console tab, back in the elements, the result of two. Why two? Because the index starts to count at zero. So the A letter is index zero, like this. And B, index one, and C, index two. So from this method, we receive the index of the element if the element is in the array. If we don't have the element, we receive another result like const index of g and we can search for g with the index of method. Okay. And now we can see we don't have g here. So the index will not be found. But JavaScript returns us the same result for all elements that are not in the array. We can log our new variable and see the result in the browser. So here we receive minus one. This is the common result for all the elements that are not in the array. So we can create another variable like index of z and search for z. And if we log this, we will receive minus one like this. So now you can do an conditionals like an if statement here if index of z you can log something like also log z is in theory or if not with an else you can log z is not in theory okay also, we need to add uh, greater or equal zero, okay? Because we will compare to some value. Zero is the first index. And if we receive some greater number than zero, this is also an index. We are just looking for the minus one to execute the else statement, okay? So if we look this in the browser, you can see that Z is not in the array because we receive from this minus one okay guys so this is how we find an index an element index in the array with index of and how we can look for elements that are not in the array and this is it for this video hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video